we've heard this part of the mine was not an operating mine. It's where they were uh, boring into the ground to prepare for a new block cave mine operation. What should we know about that as that uh, operation uh, prepares to begin uh, about three years down the road is what we've heard. So, you know, the thing about block cave mining is it, it's our transition from large open pits. We try to, you know, copper, um, you know, there's a high demand on copper as we look forward in terms of, you know, green energy, as we look, you know, electric cars and charging stations, there's a high demand on copper. We try to mine it because it's in low percentages in the rock uh, in terms of using mass mining, and that's easiest on surface. But we've been mining, you know, our large open pits for, you know, 50, 100 years, and eventually we get to the end of, of the life of an open pit that that material continues at depth. And so um, the industry is generally looking at, at the transition that, that's facing them now and into the next you know, 50 years of uh, our, our sources of copper and these open pits transitioning to this underground mass mining method called block caving. And it's just a method that allows you to um, mine large volumes of rock, which is not required when you have concentrated metals like you know, silver or gold, which might be quite concentrated, but when you have a, a material like copper, which is maybe you know one percent and or lower, uh, and highly distributed through the the rock, you need to be able to you know mine large volumes of rock to get that copper out. So we have one already in the province, the, the New Afton mine uh, near Kamloops, um, and really globally, there's there's a number of these large caving operations that have been developed. Usually, when the open pit mine has gone as deep as it can go, and they want to continue uh, mining that copper at depth, so it's sort of the future. Of where the mining industry is transitioning for in at least the copper uh in the, in, the, in the critical mineral pursuit to, around copper